Alright guys, what is up? I'm back. And you probably already know this, but uh... You probably already tell by the video that it is not my gameplay. <laughs> Why, you might ask? Why is this not mine? Well, of course, there's a... You know me and my great ability to record stuff. Uh some computer malfunctions shit got deleted and one of those items was uh, one of these videos it's like only one of the videos or at least one of the sessions that I recorded is the only thing that got deleted it's very funny and weird so yeah about an hour of gameplay gone so I gotta use someone else's it, it, my bad. It happened before. You guys were chill about it. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. I can't skip a whole hour of gameplay because you're going to miss something. Something's going to seem out of place. Like, I don't remember this at all. Where the hell is he? So, yeah. I think two parts, about two parts, will be not my gameplay, so... But once that's over, we'll get right back to my great gameplay ability. My playing ability of Dead Space. Yeah, sorry, it's, shit happens. But hey, this gives me more time to talk to you. Yeah. So, how's it going? I should pay attention to the story. But I'm not playing, so I'm not fully immersed into it. But anyways. Uh, let's see what we're doing. Okay, we're on a mission. Of course, I never seem to know what we're doing. I don't pay attention to most. <laughs> All I know, I just gotta keep on going places and kill everything in my path. I would never use this gun. I'm such a... I don't know. I just keep the plasma cutter because it's all... It's the original freaking weapon. And it works pretty good when you uh, upgrade like crazy. It's a beast. But anyways. I guess I can tell you about my of my life, but I guess an update on what I, what status is. Sorry, I was just listening to that. Well, I got a new, a new gizmo. It's called a desktop PC, you know, some of you might know. So right now, this is on a laptop. I'm, I, I used to do all the stuff on a laptop. Now, Mm, I got a gaming PC. <laughs> it's nothing too special. It plays most of the games. It'll probably play from games that came out from... Well, I think it can play Bioshock even. I haven't tried it, but according to the recommended system requirements, I am capable of playing Bioshock Infinite. So that gives you an idea of what I could do. I can't, I definitely can't play any, every game out there, but it plays all the ones that count. You know, definitely won't be Crisis 3 status. I don't know. But so far, whatever games I've played on it, it works fine. You know, I'm all happy now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm that dude done talking. Okay, guys. Something happened, so I had to go away. So, okay, I'm back now. 
Which was that saying? Oh yes. I was talking about the PC. It's a nice looking PC. I put... <laughs> there's so much blue from it, because I put in like a, uh, a new case fan and like my power supply. It had blue LEDs in it too. And like my wireless, uh, wireless USB thing, wireless network adapter, whatever. That's flickering blue. And the power button turns blue when you turn it on, so <laughs> it's safe to say I have a lot of blue coming from my computer. You know, it's a, a shiny black case, you know, with a lot of blue. It just looks good. So, and what else? Yes, I will probably be doing a lot more uh, walkthroughs on the PC course because now I can actually play them. Uh, <laughs> remember when I, was, I did a, a Bully PC, you know, Scholarship Edition PC walkthrough. That lasted like only like three or four parts and then it got st it stopped. Well the reason why I stopped because my computer sucked and it was just not fun trying to leg your way to victory in that crappy PC. But now, this thing can run it fine. So, oh, hold on, something intense is happening. Well, anyway, yes, I will. <laughs> I will do a walkthrough on Bully Scholarship Edition for PC. Why? I don't know, I just love the game to death so much. It's just so much fun, and I guess the updated graphics. It's kind of, you know, it kind of looks better, but it's not like full grown, grown greatness. But you know, it's 2008. It's a pretty good looking game. What? I'm just going to do. It's like more of like a polish on the textures. It's not really actual better graphic detail, like with the fingers. Like, they still kind of have that kind of like a square look to them. But, like, the outline or like the texture on it's like more detailed. It's like you can actually see like the lines on the fingers a little bit better, you know, and something. So, it's not really much of a graphic increase, it's just like detail, texture detail is just higher. And that's it. And, like, the shadows are better. It's, it's just, you know. It's like an HD remake, you know, it's not too crazy, but it's just kind of like a nice little polish over it, the graphics-wise. Um, I don't know how the PC controls are going to go, I haven't really played it much. Uh, I would have hooked up my Xbox controller, but all I have is a wireless controller, so then I have to... I have to buy like another like wireless thing in order to connect my Xbox controller to the PC. If only I had a wired controller I could just plug it into like the USB. No. So I just figured I'll just play with the PC. PC buttons. I'll make it. So yeah, you have that to look forward to, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that won't get. Discontinued. I for sure, I probably will finish it because I like the game. I love playing the game. And now I'm on a better PC, so it's just more better experience. And I have forgotten about Assassin's Creed 3. I just have. I don't. Know, I don't know what the hell happened. I just took a month break. I was just like, eh. I just play video games or something, you know? Or just mess around on the computer. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like recording. The reason why I wasn't too gun ho for this part, this walkthrough, or at least for this part, because I knew I had to find some more games, another gameplay, because I got deleted, so I wasn't too excited to start doing this. <laughs> Cause I kind of knew it's like okay, I screwed up. I don't really feel like 
doing this for a while. Oh, I'm just busy with other crap. The more I think about it, I wasn't doing too much. You know, like, I don't know. I was just enjoying my summer. I was just, you know, working and then, you know, relaxing, playing video games, you know. Oh, this looks intense. Get out, get out of my head. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be, should be singing One Direction, but when he said get out of my head, it, it just it just got in my head. That song. So yeah, I, I got plans, man. I got plans. I got a lot of walkthroughs to do. Relax. Relax. Isaac, we have to get out of here. Right. Hold Let's on, let me let these people chat. Yeah, I gotta do Dead Space 3. <laughs> I gotta do Bully, Dead Space 3, finish up Assassin's Creed. Oh my god. That can't be. What? That's the oh. Yeah. That's the Ishmore guys. guys. Remember that? That was the first game. Sad story, actually. That was hell. What? Terrorist attack? What happened to Bork? That ship was not terrorist attack. What do you mean? That's where all this started, Ellie. Everything that's happening here happened on that ship. I saw it. I was on board when it happened. What's happening? I, I don't know. It's like I must be blocking the track. Stay here. I'll take a look. Okay. What was I saying? I forgot. I... Oh, I was listening to the crap right here. Assassin's Creed... I'm not sure how much parts are left in that. I'm going to say... I have no idea. Some of my sessions are long. I can't... I think I look at how long each video was. Because sometimes they're an hour, sometimes just like 20 minutes, you know. It's just whatever I feel. So, Assassin's Creed 3, that's quite a few parts. That's base 2, I'm gonna say maybe 5 parts the max are left. I could probably maybe fit with like, eh, maybe 5. 5, 4 parts max, you know, left of Death Space 2. Dead Space 3, I gotta... I didn't even play that game yet. Well, I played like the first chapter. That was with some, a friend. He wanted to play it. We never got around to playing co-op anymore. <laughs> it didn't last that long. I don't know. I'm sure, I don't know if he already beat it or if he's waiting for me to do co-op. I don't know. All I remember, uh... We were both recording at the time. We were doing co-op and... He had malfunction with his recording device, so he's like, okay, let's do this over again. And we never got to doing it again. But, you know, what are you going to do? God, how long do I got chat? Uh, for like 40 minutes. And it's only like 15 minutes past. I can do this. I can chat. About random crap. But, yeah. Oh. For you Xbox users, there is a huge sale going on. I think it's only for today, it's the second. Yeah, I think it ends the second with this list. Uh, they have huge sales, like up to 75% off, maybe even more. I got Max Payne 3 for $9.99. That's pretty damn cheap. And I got Mass Effect for $4.99. I was happy. That was a good sale. They had Borderlands 2, Assassin's Creed 3 is like $29.99 I think. Borderlands 2 is like $19.99. I don't remember all the games, but there's actually quite a, a good list of good games. They're like cheap, really cheap prices. So if I get this upload on the second, you guys have like 
maybe an hour left until the third. <laughs> Who knows when the hell this is going up? Oh, stretch. Crack my back. But, uh, yeah. But there's another sale of. There's another list of games that will ant. I'll go from the second to the eighth. I don't know what list that is. I can look it up since I'm not technically playing the game. Supreme, you guys are just here for my great commentary. Yeah, you're just here for the commentary. You're not here to to have me talk about the game and stuff. Just here for the commentary. But I will look up the list on my other computer. You know how unprofessional this is? This is very unprofessional, but I don't care. You know? It's like you're gonna have this. You're gonna have that unprofessionalness for me. It's just how I am. I am okay, let's see here. I'm loading up the link, I'm going, okay, here's the list for July 2nd. Oh, okay, it's only, it is Sasuke 3, Borderlands 2, Far Cry 3, great game, I fucking love that game, and Max Payne 3. Here are the prices. I bet you by the time this gets up, it'll, the sale will be gone, you know, but I'll just keep you informed anyways, but Assassin's Creed 3, $14.99, uh, Oh, never mind. It's not twenty ninety nine. It's fourteen ninety nine. Ooh. Borderlands two nine ninety nine. Far Cry three nineteen ninety nine. Max Payne three nine ninety nine. You know, I can see why they uh they only had this for one day sale. Those are four top games. So yeah, it makes sense that they have it only a one day sale because ooh, people are making they're getting steals with that. Uh, but here's games that are on sale now until the 8th. I think there's heroes left. Our crew is chasing us. Our dead. Oh, Brothers in Arms. It's chasing us. 4 99 It's just me and Ellie right now. We're not uh, gonna make it. Far Cry Instincts Predator. Never heard of that game. That's 4 99 Crisis, 4 99 Command and Conquer is 4 99 a lot of games are four ninety nine or two ninety nine. That's right. Microsoft sells games for three fucking bucks. Who the hell does that? Anyways, WWE twelve fourteen ninety nine. That's the only big price on this list. Mass Effect four ninety nine. Uh, Prey two ninety nine. Bulletstorm four ninety nine. Perfect Dark Zero two ninety nine. Dragon Age Origins four ninety nine. And Divinity 2. Never heard of that game, but that's 4.99. So yes, you, Xbox games. These are games on demand, so they're like full games or like huge memory. Like I don't have that much memory on my Xbox the way it is, and I already used up like mm, like maybe 14 gigabytes worth on two games. That was Mass Effect and uh, Max Payne. <laughs> I'm not gonna have any memory left. I need to get a hard drive or something. But I don't feel like spending money. Not yet. So yeah, so far that's the list of sales. Summer sales were the the call ultimate game sale, my bad. What else? Oh <sighs> Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, if you guys watched uh, E3 press conference of Microsoft, you probably would remember them saying two, wait, hold on, two free games at the start of July 1st. Well, I looked, those free games aren't on there yet. Halo 3 and, uh, what else? Halo 3 and Assassin's Creed 2, they are not free yet. <laughs> Ain't that funny? It's not free yet. At least last time I check, I can check now because I'm not doing anything. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna check to see if it's free. 
right now. Instead, they gave us some other game. I don't know what the heck it was called, but that other there's another game that actually is free. So I don't know if they just, like just did that, just try to hold us off. But people want, well, people probably got the games, but I don't have the games because I got my Xbox pretty late, late in the, in the fun. Ooh. So yeah, what are you guys excited about? What you learn from E3 that's got you excited? Oh, I'm burping. Hold on. Well, anyways. I don't know. Press conferences are. <laughs> Microsoft is just under a flame. They're just. Yeah, they're not helping themselves at all, but. You know. I guess I'm a. I guess you call me a Microsoft fanboy. I kinda am. I, I, I don't deny it. I kinda am, but. Yep, Assassin's Creed 2 is not free yet. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's Creed 2 is not free. I'll check with Halo 3. But, yeah, they didn't put that on sale yet, which is kind of disappointing. They promised. They promised us that they would give us these games, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, Microsoft, I don't know, I don't... Hmm, how do I put this? Yes, I guess I, I am kind of a fanboy of Microsoft, but... You know... Before, you know, when they're doing the whole DRM stuff... It didn't really bother me, because, well, I'm all connected online anyways, I don't have any internet problems, so that's fine with me. I guess the only problem is, you know, used games, because I, I buy a lot of used games, because, you know, it's Amazon. And I am ruining the cutscene, okay, hold on. God. How can I talk this much? I can't. I'm surprised I'm talking this much. In another situation, I might admire your persistence, Mr. Clark. But this is bigger than you and bigger than the lives of everyone on this station. Zero five preparations for attack are wrapping up. Looks like it is here. At this point, it's all just dead weight. Isaac, what did he mean? What did he mean when he said dead weight? He's using the solar beam. Well, that looks like something. Yeah. <laughs> Up just for a few seconds, you should be able to get the transport across. Stay ready and take care of Strauss. I said no. It's a really bad idea. I'll stick around. I'm full of bad ideas. Ho ho ho. Uh, sorry guys if you're expecting me to uh, you know talk about the game and have my reactions have scared them. It won't be in this video. Because I'm I'm not playing, so it's just like I'm just gonna keep talking about random shit. So, anyway, back about the Microsoft press conference. You know, one thing that bothered me about DRM stuff that I could think of off the top of my head was the used game deal. What was online didn't bother me. I guess, yeah, people don't like being restricted, but I got a feeling that's how it's gonna be in the future. Everything's gonna be all digital. You're gonna have restrictions because people are gonna try to give their shit to stuff give their shit to people but you know as you know now if you're in the loop with the news Microsoft got rid of all that stuff 
no de no none of that online DRM crap anymore. So pretty much, it's going to be like a 360, except you know, more features and updated. Which isn't a bad thing. I'm not complaining about that. You know, I was surprised. I was like just random. I was looking up on YouTube and then like someone posted a video on them like is this like a parody or something is this like a cause it was, it was IGN and the guy trust them you know I was like they like to do parodies sometimes so I'm just like second guessing myself I'm like is that really they really switched already they really changed that I was so surprised, he's like, wow, they actually did a big company, I actually listened to people complaining. Cause oh my god, I was getting tired of the comments. People were just like whining and complaining so much, it's like It's just how it is. It's like I don't know, people are just already, people are already on the PS4 bandwagon, I, I find it really funny, I don't know, I don't know why, I guess no matter what, I'm always going to be like a PlayStation hater, I have no idea why, I just, it's just ever, you know, the PlayStation 3 didn't appeal to me, and like the PS4 just reminds me of PlayStation 3, and it's just, just automatic hate, I'm, I'm like such a hater. But yeah, I won't be getting consoles, the new consoles for a while, since, you know, I got, I got 360, I got plenty of games to, to still buy, and I got, you know, PC and Steam, so I got more shit to look at and play. Speaking of which, I'm going to check the deal of the day for Steam today. Let's see what the deal of the day is. Two friends are online, oh my. I have a whole bunch of friends. Alright. This ain't what I want. K what? Eh, nope. Nope, none of the games that I like that I want. So. Yeah. Oh! Forgot to mention. I have Bioshock. You're probably like, oh, good for you, man. That game is old. Just saying, I got Bioshock, man. I love the Bioshock series. I won't be doing a walkthrough on that. It's too long. I don't know. I just don't think I should do a walkthrough on that because I already got like a fucking one, two, three. Like three on my list, four. Two of them I'm currently doing, and three of them, or two of them I plan to do. See, I got enough on my plate. So I'll be spamming you guys eventually. Uh, not eventually, I should be spamming you soon. The day of I'm making this video, I should be spamming you. But it all depends on how long the render time takes, cause huh, huh. this is a huge ass video, huge ass file, I should say. But the hell is she saying? She is just mm, busting my balls. She's mean. <laughs> You're mean. But anyways, uh, yeah, I got quite a few games. Um, I love Bioshock series. I love Infinite. You know, one, two. I love them all, really. I want to play them again, so yeah. Once DLC comes out for Infinite, I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, <laughs> I borrowed Infinite from my girlfriend. I'll see if she lets me borrow it again once the DLC comes out. I don't know. Yeah. I'll try my luck. I don't know. She she probably will. 
but she probably won't do it right away because she has to play it first. That's how it usually is. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this game first because I pay for it. It's like, all right, go right ahead. You know, I can wait. That was with Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, she bought it. What was a limited edition. You know, she had a, a cute little toy and the good art book and stuff. There's some other things in there, but she's like, I'm gonna play this game when I finish. You know. Then you can borrow it. I'm like, oh, okay. I'll, I'll wait. It's worth it. I knew it was worth it, and I, and I tried my best to stay away from the walkthroughs and uh, keep the spoilers out, which I did, pretty good, you know. So there's no, I didn't get any spoiled. I didn't get spoiled, the spoilers. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was a mind blowing ending. I'm not going to say it, cause you know. Some people just didn't play the game yet, which I'm confused. Why? Why didn't you play the game yet? You know? All I can say... It, it's mind fuck business, yeah. It's just like... When I finished the game, I was just sitting there thinking like... What? I was like putting the pieces together like... Is that... Really? Is that what happened? Is that the connection? You know? And I was talking, you know, Sarah about it, and she was like, yeah, it's this, that, and, you know, this is why this happened, and that's why you saw that. I'm like, wow, it makes sense, but it takes a while to get to figure it out, what it's trying to tell you. The game is so confusing sometimes, but once you get it, it's like, wow, that was crazy, crazy thinker. So, yeah, I don't know when that DLC is coming out. Should be soon. It's a ripoff to people who got the season pass and nothing's coming out yet. favorite Bioshock. I'm still talking about Bioshock. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but I don't know. I gotta think. I like Bioshock 1. I don't know if it's my favorite. It's either that or Infinite. I like Infinite because, you know, it wasn't... I don't know. It's, it's really newbie of me saying it, but it seems... I don't know. A little bit more helpful and easier because you know we have Elizabeth kind of giving you aid and stuff constantly, so that helps a lot. I prefer uh, the Rapture setting. Columbia is nice and all, but I prefer Rapture. Cause <laughs> when I played the first one, I was scared shitless right away. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect really. I never seen anything of it really. Just the introduction of it is just like it's all dark and creepy. I was scared shitless. I was scared of Bioshock. I was still scared playing throughout the whole game. I was just like, oh my god, this is creepy. And just, I was just freaked out. It just has a good creepy fact to it. But it's not actually a horror game. It's just... It just sometimes has that little bit of like, whoa, that's scary. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's some frustrations with uh, Bioshock, you know. But it got fixed in later games, so it didn't bother me anymore. You know? it's still fun. But yeah, that's what that, that's uh, that's why I like. So yes, what else? Oh, uh, I was talking about E3. There's a lot of good games coming out for Xbox One. I don't know how much of them are actually launch titles, but they're it's a good list of games, and I'm surprised that they're well. I'm kind of glad that they're still kind of you know still working on 360. They're not like throwing it in the dust like what they do with the Wii. <laughs> the Wii was the Wii was left in the dust when they pretty much got the new console, but I'm glad they're still, you know, dedicated to 360 and actually still put content on it, you know. But, 
They made a new 360 console, which I was just like, you know... Would that really make a person want to buy it if it looked, has a new look? I saw the, you know, the unboxing and review of the new console. Just get a slim, because that, that new one, uh, I don't know what the hell it's called, it's just Xbox something, Xbox 360 something. But that new look, it has some things that's just like, eh, it's, it's not good. Like, the video cable, you know, like with the normal 360, slim and normal one, they have kind of like a huge little block to plug in your component and AV cables. You know, it's, it's a it's a big connector, but with uh, the new uh, the new new one, they have just like a a circular like port. It's like a laptop charger kind of port for the video. So you know, like the rounded circle end of a laptop charger. That's the end where you plug into the console for your videos. Like how. It's like, it's going to be tough to uh, find even parts for it, or find a component with that kind of, I can't remember the technical jargon for what it's called, but it's going to be tough to find that. I don't know why they did that way. Sure, they're trying to make it smaller, but, you know, the Slim was, it's pretty small, you know? But there's just a few things on that thing that I think is not worth getting, so I'll just... If you're thinking about getting an Xbox 360, just, just just get the slim model. It's probably cheaper, and it's it's a lot better. You know, it's just some little things on. It. The only thing you gotta deal with is a huge ass power brick, but that's what we gotta deal with every console. Yeah, it's life. But this thing's monstrous. See, you could probably kill someone with this brick. You could probably knock someone out. It's like as big as a normal brick, so it's just. Crazy. So yeah. Oh, I watched a walkthrough on The Last of Us. I didn't play it because I'm on PS3. And uh, I watched the walkthrough, and that game was pretty crazy good. It was pretty good, man. I like that. The ending left me wanting for more. I wanted more. It's like it's, the ending. It. It's like an open ending. Like they could probably make a sequel if they really want to, because the ending could go either way. It could could end it, or could, you could actually continue on if you really wanted to. But it was this is a good ending, mediocre. I could have wanted a little bit more, but you know, it was still a great story overall. And uh, yeah, the characters, man. Oh. Joel and Ellie, those people, man, whoever created those characters, created the script and writing, they really wanted people to get attached to those characters. It worked real well. I was on edge all the time, just watching, like, whoa, oh my god, this is tense. But, yeah. Great game, if you had PS3, buy it. I think it's on PC, I don't know. I want to search it, but I don't. I don't even know if it's on PC. Doesn't look like it. No, it's not on Steam at least. So, yeah, it's not on PC. I think it's just be a three exclusive. Well, anyways, this is wrapping up uh, this great part of me yapping about random shit. So. <laughs> Whatever, I'll see you guys in the next part.